everyone this is mayur welcome to ml works today we'll be exploring another nlp library known as pacy and first uh, and foremost we'll talk about all the topics which we'll be discussing in this video first is lemmatization next is uh, named entity recognition followed by we have something called as dependency parsing next we'll talk about uh, something a little bit actually this is a simple topic i'm not sure how long it will take let's see next topic uh, similarity okay so we'll be covering all these topics in this order in spacey how to implement in spacey first and foremost we have to import spacey library once spacey is low what imported then we have to load the models which are trained in spacey and stored in spacey so let's uh, load an uh, model so spacey dot load is equal to e underscore core it is an english uh, trained model a, tra a model which is trained on an english language or english text in core dot web underscore small okay so this is the model which is trained it has multiple modules which needs to be included inside this particular model which we are loading now so we have to load something called as dot get pipe and we'll load some module called as lemmatizer okay so once this is done what we'll do is now we have to take a text on top of which we have to do lemmatization text is equal to i'll just try to what use the same example throughout the video okay so this is one example which i took from what spacey uh, website yeah apple is looking to buy google for 1 trillion dollars for oh 1 trillion dollars in cash okay our text is ready let's see how lemmatization works out so just to get uh, some context about lemmatization right we can say lemmatization it's a technique for reducing dimension in nlp based uh, project okay consider you want to do some kind of a classification of like different sports and the one sport is there something called as swimming okay so for swimming you have different forms of one word okay in english as a language every word has a base word for it or a root word for example swimming i take this is swimming is one swim is one word okay swimming is another word it will be used in different context or in different tense and probably then you have something called as swam so for all these three words there is a base word swim okay that is your base word so by this uh, consider you have a paragraph which has all these words okay which is related to a article on swimming so all these words are present so if you are trying to what build a model or kind trying to create a classifier so we can reduce the dimension because in nlp right each word is a data point so we want to reduce the dimension of this uh or number of words in your what paragraph so what we can do is we can reduce all these words into the base form and use it has one data point okay so let's try to uh, let's see here how we can do that uh, what i'll do right for this particular example alone i take something called as lemma text is equal to because this will make sense uh, for example success is not only for successful people so you have this success word here and successful okay so we'll try to talk, on top of this we'll apply lemma lemmatization so we already what use this uh, pipeline we updated this one so let's see how it works out doc is equal to nlp on top of lemma text okay once this is done we have to do something called as word for word in doc let's see so okay this is giving the word actually we want to find the lemma 
here we have to give this dot underscore lemma we'll see okay so here if you see the lemma when we do it for is it is giving b okay for all the other words it is giving it's the same actually success okay it is giving success for successful okay let's modify a little bit and see how it works out success is not only for successful people but also who are unsuccessful maybe what will what i will do right not do this thing people okay so let's change this a bit success unsuccessful unsuccessful success unsuccess uh, successfully so let's see how this works out for these words so each are a separate they don't have a base form i guess okay maybe i'll try out something called as look looking looks let's see okay for this example right if you see the, all these three different words on different forms have one base word that is look so we can replace all these three words as look and reduce the dimension of your paragraph or your or uh, data set which you are creating from your paragraph yeah so this is with respect to lemmatization and let's see next is named entity recognition ner shortly called as okay consider we have we already have this text here so here so what is in your named entity recognition is helpful for extracting information from your sentences for example what are the key information in, in this particular sentence so the key information we can look uh, see is one is apple is looking to buy google so buy google for what trillion dollars in cash okay so these are some keywords right so we have to extract these information these are something called as what organization this is an organization this is the amount okay so these are the key information we have to extract from this particular text for this we can use ner and let's see how it is how it can be done okay so we have doc we have text here we don't we do not generate doc doc is equal to nlp of text okay next what we'll do is Oh, uh, ent for. Let's see for word in doc. We have word dot something called as label, I guess, which will extract these things. So label we don't have then. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. So we have to do something called as ents. underscore labels there are three things are there three labels okay let's see word dot text let's see how it comes out okay okay so if we see here by applying an er on top of this uh, text which we have described here apple is looking to buy google for 1 trillion dollars okay so here the key information it recognized apple as an organization google as an organization and then you have something called as 1 trillion dollars which is nothing but money okay so any ai tries to capture all these key details and these can be helpful in what key information extraction these are one of application based information retrieval is another concept in nlp okay it's a wide concept so this can be helpful here there so next we'll talk about dependency parsing uh dependency okay so in dependency parsing it it is a, a kind of a technique where you try to what find relationship between your words for example consider you have consider the same sentence right okay apple is looking to buy google for 1 trillion dollars okay this is something 
a news headline okay this is if you are working in some kind of a journal kind of work right you have to do you have to identify something here or you want to identify who is taking what action okay so uh, who is taking what action on whom okay these kind of details can be extracted or find right can be find from dependency parsing so let's see okay i'll also what do some kind of visualization here so i'll import something called as from space import display see yeah this will help us in what visualizing the relationship between words okay first and foremost we have this text already okay we already done this nlp of text so what we'll do now is uh, i'll do display c itself directly on top of this words display c let's see how to use this one okay mm -mm. doc comma uh, this is something called as some okay okay first let me what do how to find out dependency uh, parsing here let's see for uh, word dot bp underscore for word in doc let's see what it gives okay it gives these things here yeah. so this is a subject uh, auxiliary then root word then direct object preposition quant mod compound num mod okay let's see how to visualize in spacey right let's check out that one display c yeah this will be better actually if you will understand clearly how to use this one okay this is display c dot render okay serve you can do or render you can do and you can dock and style you have to give okay let's do this one display c dot serve and you have something called as doc and the style we have to do is equal to depth okay okay we got something here okay so we have our subject is apple which is a pronoun proper noun i guess that is okay once that is the subject is looking to buy an object direct object which is nothing but another uh, google the object and a preposition is for which is linked with by and then for what for which is nothing but again a what preposition of object 1 trillion dollars so this is if you see this is a compound word okay all these three lines right symbol plus 1 num 1 trillion dollars in cash these are again if you see right these are again interlinked with what cash direct that's a preposition of object this is a preposition in is a preposition and this is indeed is connected with this one so we can see our relationships here okay so how it will help actually so let's uh, i'll do an another sentence just stop this interrupt this particular thing okay what i'll do consider you have some you are running some organization like telecom or some mobile devices you are selling like samsung next to so or you also have some kind of what a uh, broadband or stuff like that okay you can see like you can write a sentence like mobile phone my mobile phone has scratches my mobile my phone is defective you can see okay here you have subject is your phone and the kind of uh, explanation you want to do right that is a defective is one of the context with respect to your phone and i want to replace my phone is defective and I, and i want to replace it okay so let's see how it can be done on this one this particular text like doc is equal to nlp on text underscore to okay okay so we have this is our subject as i said so this is our subject phone and it is a compound uh, adjectival compound this is a compound right so we can what look into spacey library and see what are these labels okay uh, dependency parsing uh, 
Arthur Spacey labels. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Okay, we have it here, I guess. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we don't have it here, so let's see where we can find. Okay, where can I find complete list of species? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go here. Okay, these are the dependencies. Let's see what was our thing here. A compound. So a compound we have somewhere. Okay, we don't have it here. So go under English. A compound is adjectival complement. Okay, it's not even compound. It's a complement, adjectival complement. Okay, that makes sense. So now phone is defective. That is a complement we are giving. Okay. Then we have something called as, so we have another subject. I want to replace it D object. So if you see here the conjunction, so how it is related, I want is again related to the sentence. Okay, these are interlinked. I want to replace direct object it. So it is referring to something actually direct object. So x compound is there anything like x compound we have find x c o p open clausal complement okay this requires what uh, in depth understanding of these uh, grammatical words we have here so we have understanding of these ones okay so anyway so by this kind of dependency passing right we can understand how the words are interlinked this subject is interlinked with some other word so these can be handled here okay let's interrupt this one okay so we are almost done with dependency parsing we can understand what how the words are related the subject is related with which object and uh, who is performing which action all those things can be done okay let's uh, okay let's move on okay if it is too taking too much time right then we can come back in dependency if it's not taking too much time then we can go back to our dependency parsing try out some examples so let's go to what morphology so morphology is study of words actually basically if you uh, define it it is just study of words and how words are formed so that is what morphology is Okay, so for this, we have already have this sentence here. So I'll just put this as doc2 and interrupt this one again. Okay, so we have this text2 text we already have and then we have doc. Okay, okay, we have something called as doc, right? Let's see, this is our doc now. Okay. So we have, as I said, morphology study of words and how the words are formed. For example, if you have some word called as unsuccessful, so that for is how, how it is formed. First you have success, then you have successful, you have this word suffix is added to it, then you have something what prefix is added. So for instance, you have success, then you have something called as successful which is nothing but our uh, prefix is added here prefix not the prefix suffix is added here then you want to what, do something called as unsuccessful then you have to add something called as prefix to this own word unsuccessful okay so these this is how what words are formed in english so this is understanding of these things right what i mentioned now is called as morphology okay let's do some morphology on top of our words here uh, word dot morph for word in doc okay let's see here so for this what i'll do is i have doc here let's see apple is looking to buy google for one trillion dollars in cash so there is something called as number is singular and then ind person three tens it is also telling the present form or okay okay aspect okay okay let's understand this one actually 
so we have totally how many words like 5 plus 5 10 12 words around we have so length mm -mm. you also have 12 I guess 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 13 14 I guess probably this will be taken as separate actually dollar one it will be taken separately and even this one is to be taken separately a separate uh, word type okay so here we have oh we have something called as punctuations yeah punctuation type so that is means this one dot this is a singular in and there is for morphology on top of this gives nothing okay uh, then you have plurals there is so what I'll do right we can see this in uh, spacey library itself what this means number is singular and then card we have then again card infinite form so I think we need to what understand uh, so it is able to give all these details but we should understand what each of these means so I'll try to do this in another video actually what is morphology exactly so this is what we understand from this word uh, doing morph okay so we'll skip this for a moment and we'll do it a separate video on top of this one okay next is similarity why are you getting these errors actually okay 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 let's do some similarity now okay so similarity you can uh, think in terms of what uh, for example you have what uh, different set of topics okay for example there are some people talking about news on politics some people talking about news on sports now we have to find if these two topics are similar or not okay so we can do that using something called as similarity a module in spacey which will tell us that for example, uh, I'll take text one. Let's talk about something about food actually. I like to eat pizza and fries. Next sentence is two. I also like to eat dosa and voila now is this similar actually let's see we have something called as nlp doc one comma doc underscore two is equal to nlp of text underscore one comma nlp of underscore uh, text underscore two now we'll do something called as doc underscore one similarity of doc underscore two okay it is giving 78 percent similar but it is throwing something called as an error or a warning actually so if you see here doc similarity will be based on the tagger parser and ner okay it is using these features tagger and parser and ner to give the similarity score which is not useful so what we have to do is okay this is because we are using small models right if you are using one of the small models which is like encore.sm next which we don't ship with word vectors or only use and only use context sensitive sentences so what i'll do now is i'll download a uh, new model so for that we have to do something called as python hyphen m hyphen m i guess and space c download uh, in core the web underscore a medium size model will download let's see if this works or not otherwise we have to check here models under models under english we have to go here yeah so we have to do this thing let's see if it is downloading or not mm -mm. this should download then 
I'm, I guess I've done correct rate. Everything is working fine. So this is 33 MB file. So it is getting downloaded. Our model is getting downloaded. So if you see here, we got this warning like our model is small and it is not. It is what uh, the similarity is based on these kind of features, and it is not including features like word vectors. But you can also uh, add word vectors or use one of the larger models if it's not available. So let's download this model and let's see how the performance improves. So what I'll do now is I'll do this before that. I also have to do another thing. We have to load this NLP model we have, right? Is equal to spacey dot load n underscore core web underscore md. Let's see if this works or not. Okay, if you see here, it is the score is improved by drastically. Okay, okay, cool man. This is working fine. Okay, by just adding what a larger model, we got an improvement of what twelve percent. Okay, so this is cool. Oh, I guess. Uh, so we are able to. So how did it work actually? So how did this one worked? So how did this work? Is first we it, what it will do under the hood? It will try to convert these into uh, vector word vectors. Okay, each of the sentence. And then those word vectors are nothing but a, a numeric form in the numeric format, which is trained on some already trained on some data set. Okay, on based on that data set, it has been trained, and where it has what created this kind of relationship between words. For example, if you have anything related to eat and uh, some some words which are nearby this particular word, okay, then it means like what eat is nearby pizza on fries. So these words are what closer. Similarly, it is nearby what dosa and vada. Okay, so these words are similar. So when you apply this context, right, these two sentences will look similar. I'll apply on some other sentences as well now. I watch news on sports. Let's see what it does. It must be what giving some neutral answer, I guess, on politics. It should give. Let's see how it works out. Okay. So yeah. So what it is giving is it is giving more word context to these two words. Watch news. It is irrespective of this sports and politics. It is not giving that much importance. That's why we got a score of what ninety nine percent. And now we are using what a larger NLP model which we have loaded here. And just to tell you, uh, note down there are like multiple models here. If you go and see, right, you can see here like SM you have, and there is also what uh, accuracy evaluation which is done on top of each model. Okay, so we can see all these scores here, and entities have score recall precision, and as you go what larger models, the score improves. I mostly, I hope so. Okay. These are similar precision recall. All those stuffs are similar. Uh, there is also much more larger library or a model. Okay, you can see the score is improved a bit here. Precision recall. And uh, now there is the spacey also support transformer based models also now. Well, uh, yeah, its size is 438 MB. It has these components, limitizer, all this stuff. What you can do is you can try out all these libraries uh, using these models. You can try out all these similar functions. What I've tried here. So here we can see what is the accuracy evaluation. Okay, it is increased drastically once you start using what transformer-based models. This is cool. Okay, mm, we have seen a lot of stuff now. So I guess we are almost done here. Uh, just to what if you like this video and understood and found it helpful you can just subscribe to this channel and what i'll be posting many other libraries both uh, nlp and computer vision based libraries and also general libraries like numpy and scikit learn and how to use those things and yeah so that's it for this video thank you